Hey Gemini, I'm doing a reading about now, <laughs> RFN, <laughs> so it's just going to be what the cards decide to show you of what is your current situation. I am going to draw a planet, I love to bring astrology um, into the readings, I believe both are uh, disciplines or divination uh, tools are intertwined and actually work really well together. I'm sure you agree. <laughs> we have Saturn for you, Geminis. Saturn is in Aquarius, a fellow air sign. You might have felt uh, Saturn's influence um, as relatively, quote-unquote, mild, <laughs> or at least more fluid for you. Not that it's an easy energy necessarily to work with, but it can be extremely constructive. And uh, maybe you've had the opportunity to Use your time, manage your time wisely. That might have been uh, really beneficial to you in the last year and a half, even the last two years. You might have felt also, um, and you might even feel this still for a few months until Saturn really leaves uh, Aquarius which I don't know the precise date, but I think it's in early 2024, but don't quote me, uh, I'd have to look. Either way, you still have a good, a good part of 2023 with this energy in Aquarius, so in a fellow air sign. Uh, you must still have a lot of work to do on something specific uh, that would be my take. It is a general statement. It won't apply to all of you Geminis, but... I'm hearing you'll be proud. <laughs> That's sweet. Okay, I have the tarot cards in my hand, but it's not what I want. I actually want to start with the Zen Tarot. Moment to moment. It's interesting. We just talked about time. This is almost like the tick tock, tick tock energy because it's moment to moment, moment to moment. Yet it's about the now, right? Being in the now. I won't lie, but literally, Aries and Taurus had a message about living in the present, living in the moment. Like literally, the last two reads I just did. <laughs> tonight <laughs> so I don't know what it is but it's clearly a theme I'm also hearing time is running out uh, you need to complete something Com I'm sorry I said complete but I almost said compete so it kind of surprised me it's almost like beat the clock energy right compete being beat the clock okay I don't know what the hell is going on. Excuse my language. I forgot I had this deck in my hands and I kept pulling and some cards turned. I'm going to take them. There's five of them. It's huge, but uh, I wasn't paying attention and yet it's fine, right? Uh, I wanted to move to the tarot. 
So let's look at these cards. They came out. Integration. Understanding. I only read uprights in this deck. Going with the flow. Politics. <laughs> and comparison. So there's clearly two sets of energies here. You could say that integration, understanding, and going with the flow is one energy, one very homogenous energy, fluid, um, comfortable. It's what I was mentioning about working with Saturn in a constructive way without sensing that it's a constraint, without sensing that it's hard work, uh, feeling like you're getting the rewards for the, basically the time and the efforts that you're putting in, seeing those rewards. You, if you wish to, you can really uh, reflect on what it is that you are integrating. That could be so many different things that I won't start giving you examples. It resonates or it doesn't with you, so I'm, I'm still going to repeat those words. Understanding what it is that you are mentally, especially with Saturn uh, being an Aquarius, what are you scientifically constructing and deconstructing, analyzing, so both going into details and yet synthesizing, so looking at the big picture. There's both these motions of zooming in and zooming out on things, having perspective, and yet going with the flow. So that's one energy. And then there's politics and comparison, right? So maybe the flip side of Saturn, <laughs> the politics of, you know, individual versus uh, community, mm, macro energy, micro energy, so micro, microcosm and macrocosm. I'm not sure how to say that in English, I guess, microcosm, cosmos and... Mm, Anyways, micro and macro cosmos. <laughs> same same idea of, um, you know, one against the, the group. I shouldn't say against, but versus, right? In, compar in comparison, there's something about, um, you see, one is small, one is big or thick, one is flexible, one is uh, rigid, one is green, one is brown, you know what I mean? It is really the energies of duality. And even on the table, you have the first energy of integration understanding and going with the flow, which is opposite of politics and comparison. So another duality here. Let's see what the tarot says. You did come for a tarot reading. <laughs> I really didn't expect to pull that many cards out of that deck. Um, so... <laughs> Surprise, surprise. <laughs> There's always a reason, though. Um, let's see what that is. Or why that is. If any cards deign to come out <laughs> the nine of wands in reverse
I'm gonna draw more before I say anything. Strength card. I'm gonna stop here literally just for a little pause and then I'll keep pulling. Literally in my mind, I was thinking, um, I wasn't sure how to read the Nine of Wands, for real. And then the word that came up was overachievement, which feels really right. Um, and it's a... It's sort of, it's facing, or I, I should say, strength is, is how can I say this? Nine of Wands in, in reverse, I heard overachievement. The strength feels like it's overlooking the energy of being an overachiever, over, over, <laughs> one over the other, moment to moment, over to over. I'm letting that sink in so I can feel it out for you. It's like saying, um, I don't know if it has to do with uh, going with the flow here. It's an energy of Quitting something that was excessive. That's what I'm getting. You might have worked really, really hard for many, many hours with Saturn, especially in the last 18 months or the last two years. <clears throat> wow, my, the last two years since December 2020. A big pile just turned. I'm going to take them. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven is this Saturn number. <laughs> I don't know that it really is, but for me, um, it's almost like saying it's a, you know, I'd say Sun, Moon, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. Do you know what I mean? Like if, I'm not even going to look at the cards. It's, it's not about attributing a planet to each card, but it's about when you list the planets in astrology, you'd say Sun, Moon, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, and then Saturn becomes the seventh listed anyways i'm digressing a lot in this read i apologize but then again it's the reading uh i'm not gonna censor myself three of wands for you the hanged man this is the knight of pentacles but in reverse I'm going to split those and put the four uh, other cards under because I'm sensing these three that I just list that I just showed you are 
first of all, saying the same thing, all three. <laughs> Ten of Wands in reverse. The Six of Swords in reverse. The Four of Cups. And the Six, uh, gosh, the Lovers, the Sixth Major Arcana. I have no idea why that came out like that, but uh, <laughs> okay. This energy is spectacularly uh, repetitive. You know, you'd be longing and waiting for something, expecting something. You're in. Uh, I want to say. You're in transition mode, but you're also ex you're on hold. So the same energy of awaiting. And then the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. That's slower than slower. So it's like a slow motion feed video. But it's so slow that it's like... You know when the voice, uh, <laughs> I won't make them, I won't imitate uh, what a voice, uh, speaking voice sounds like when you slow down the video, but you know what I'm talking about. That's what I'm hearing. Tonight is really strange because the Taurus reading was backwards. This reading is slow motion. I have no idea where these things are coming from. But all three readings, Aries, Taurus, and, uh, and yours, Gemini, they're all talking about time. They're all talking about either being in the moment, but also how time gets deformed. Because we uh, time is relative. We experience it differently. And this is what's showing up in different forms in the different reads. It's really, it's pretty cool, actually. <laughs> okay, the next four cards, because what are you waiting for? Um, besides the fact that you're kind of letting go of um, overachievement, I want to say letting, I don't want to say letting go, but... You're quitting, you're overdoing the overachievement bit. So what are you waiting for? Okay, this is really strange because you have the Six of Swords, there's no movement, and the Four of Cups is being totally aloof again, so... I don't know what it is. I guess it's the slow motion energy. Everything is like so slow that there's no movement. I'm looking at Saturn and I just heard the time has stopped. Like uh, when you freeze the, the video. What is going on? <laughs> You know, look at this. Um, I have to show you. Look at uh, going with the flow and then look at this character, the way they're both uh, lying down, like very um, completely abandoned, relaxed. Um, Maybe you can almost say the hangman is the same, a little bit of the same energy or look. I don't know what it is, but you must have worked so, so hard that um, it's like you're being advised to slow down, you're being advised to rest. Lie down, sleep more, 
or simply uh, totally change the the speed of things, right? The rhythm at which the pace that you're going at. It's inviting you to, like the three of one feels almost like an empress energy where you wait for things to come to you. Same energy on the four of cups. Things are coming to you, whether you accept them or not, but it's, it's, it's the feeling of it's coming to you that I'm choosing to emphasize here or that is being emphasized here. You know, the hangman and the strength, they're both energies of being held back. Again, passiv passivity, being passive. This Ten of Wands is basically you've dropped all responsibilities, everything that was heavy on your shoulders physically, emotionally, intellectually, even spiritually. And then you end on the Lovers, um, which is um, because this is a Botticelli um, tarot deck, right? It has the excerpts of the details of the Botticelli paintings. This is the wind. Actually, I'm not sure it's the wind. I, I might be uh, wrong here. I am wrong. There's another detail on another card where you can see. Uh, this is not the wind, my bad. But it's basically an angel carrying, uh, or two angels intertwined. But although both are flying, one is really almost carrying the other. It's almost like uh, you're being asked to stop yourself for love, to leave some room for love in your life instead of piling in the work uh, like you might have done in the past. It's asking you to pause on, um, I want to say on being an overachiever to make room, uh, to allow for more love. That's what you're waiting on. Maybe with the Pisces, with the Hangman, with the Leo, with the Strength card, or Gemini with the Lovers. Maybe your twin, <laughs> for those who believe in that. It's a question of time. It's a question of taking it slow, because the whole reading is slow. There was something about the cards earlier pointing to a particular energy that is flowy, that is integrated, that is um, the understanding card for me. It's it's like the inner knowing versus, you know, being in two minds here with this polit politics, maybe not in two minds, but wearing masks uh, as politicians do sometimes if not all of the time <laughs> and being in a energy of always um, you know looking at the green like thinking that the grass is greener on on the other side comparing yourself all the time or looking at what others have while that you feel you don't have again the overachiever like trying to get What's the expression? Always trying to meet, like always, okay, they have like a, I don't know, this kind of house, I want this kind of house. Always kind of like trying to match what others have to feel like you've succeeded. 
the slowdown is is imposed saturn is going to impose it on you you've been working you've been building something for two years you've put in a lot of work um you might still have to put in some work but i you know how i said at the very beginning that Because uh, Saturn is an Aquarius and a fellow air sign, maybe you'll get an a ease up of having to work so hard for the rest of the time that Saturn is in, Aqua in Aquarius. You might have a little break there to slow things down to enjoy what you actually worked for and leave some room for love if you are traveling a lot for work you're going to start saying no to the many many um the many times that you've had to like do all these errands and all these uh, short, there are short trips here. That's gonna, it's gonna slow down again. I mean, it's, it's the energy of that would be something you would request, at least to travel less. You also see that on the night of pentacles in reverse, right? He's not going to too many places. So you're really cutting down on the many errands. Let's draw a trinket. Sorry for the noise. I drew this for Aries. I have like almost a hundred trinkets in here. You got the gymnast. And for Aries, I spoke of flexibility here. It's the same thing. And I spoke of how, well, in their case, they had to be flexible in terms of accommodating the situation they were in. Working with it, right? In your case, it's it's the flexibility of this, the elasti elasticity of time, right? How it's relative that it's uh, slower, faster. The flexibility could be also about you being able to actually uh, slow down. It's a luxury that you might have. You have that flexibility of schedules, for instance. I want to say it's about having the flexibility to, um, again, going with the flow, this sort of very fluid, I'm going to put the gymnast on the going with the flow energy. I think it's the place where you'll have the most, um, I guess, leeway for maneuver, right? The, yeah. Anyways. It is what it is. It was highly symbolic. <laughs> Another one. <laughs> I hope something resonated in here for you, even if it's just parts, right? Uh, little portions, and that's fine. You take some, you leave some. That's the the case for every reading, actually, essentially, because it, it's a general reading. If you did resonate, if you did enjoy the video, you can give me a thumbs up. You can share. Of course, subscribe. <laughs>
but come back. I'll see you soon. Good night.